With the resurgence of Escape in 2023 came the revival of all the drama that came along with them. Since the early 90s, Tamika, Candy, Tiny, and Latasha dominated the R&B charts with hits like Just Kicking It and Understanding. But there's been quite a misunderstanding within the group dating back decades. From slap box matches to full-on fist fights, the girls at one point were with all the shenanigans and weren't afraid to let it be known. Being contractually tied to a group comes with many trials and tribulations. However, the drama that comes with Escape appears to be never-ending, and it could be all due to one trifling man with a dirty plan. You would think this 90s quarrel would have been left in the 90s. However, here we are in 2023, still dealing with the same BS we've been dealing with. Y'all not tired? Ever since girl group Escape burst onto the scene, they've delivered lavish vocals. Well, at least half the group anyway and timeless hits that still have us singing our thoughts off to this day. Like many girl groups, behind the scenes chaos sometimes overshadows the music that should have been the focal point of their careers. We the public usually aren't aware until or unless someone came out and exposed the BTS madness. Well, what escape, their endless drama has been put on display for the world to see. Recently, they and fellow girl group SWV have joined forces for a reality TV special, SWV and Escape, the queens of R&B, showcasing the girls' journey leading up to a joint performance. Although the series was a one-and-done deal, we received exclusive information regarding the Scott sisters, who take us on a whirlwind of emotions when they played out their family dysfunction on camera. For the newer fans, seeing the girls in this light will come as a surprise. But for OG escapees, about dang time. The drama surrounding Netscape is anything but new with tension brewing since their debut. From rumored love triangles to forces stirring up trouble from within, we're surprised it only took a good 20 plus years later for the tea to be spilled. Not just spilled, poor. Starting from humble beginnings, the drama was doing what it did best even before Escape was Escape. Before Tamika, Latasha, Candy, and Tiny were known as the R&B quartet we all know today, did you know Escape was almost a quintet? What was originally supposed to have been, and eventually became, a foursome first started out as a harmonizing unit of five before one of its members dipped before the first single ever hit the shelves. Well, more so kicked out. A full Destiny's Child Pharaoh moment. When ex-member Tamara Coggins Wynn joined the group, I don't think being kicked out in favor of the new girl was on her to-do list that day. Tiny's tiny self would be the last to officially join the group, and supposedly once she did, those over at So So Deaf just wasn't feeling Miss Tamara as much as they once had. That and the fact her heart didn't seem to be in it compared to the rest of the girls. Tamara's debut with the girls failed to see the light of day, and honestly, most weren't even aware that Tamara even exists. She is still close to Candy and Tiny till this day, and was even a bridesmaid in Candy's 2014 wedding. There seems to be no hard feelings on Tamara's end. But on Candy and Latasha's? The feelings were hardening by the day. From the jump, Candy and Latasha just did not get along. In fact, Candy pulled Tamika to the side when the girls first met and confided that she didn't think Latasha liked her. None of that would get in between them or what they were there to do. Jermaine Dupri made sure to whip his girls into shape, prioritizing Latasha's vocals over the rest. So when Tamika abruptly went and got pregnant, she was safe from them just kicking her behind out of the group. So So Def was not here for the out of wedlock behavior, nor did they see it fit for the group's image and Tamika had been given an ultimatum. Either get rid of the baby or we'll get rid of you. Tiny and Candy had no issue with chucking the deuces to Ogre. Latasha, on the other hand, was not about to leave her sister hanging and gave them an ultimatum. Either Tamika stays or I get with her. Surely enough, those overseeing their career were hesitant, but eventually gave in. Tamika got to keep her baby and stay in the group. In the meanwhile, Tiny was also out there in these streets catching the pregnant, but ended up terminating the pregnancy out of fear of being kicked out of the group. Escape would go on to release three studio albums before calling it quits in 1998, leaving fans to wonder what went wrong. Rumor has it Candy was sleeping with the boss man, Jermaine Dupree, who some believe was the real reason the girl split. After starting a romantic relationship with his artist, the others weren't here for it, often accusing Dupree of showing favoritism, which he denied. The girls ventured off into different territories after their stint as a girl group was over, Latasha scoring a solo deal thanks to their manager at the time, Rocky Bivens, who she'd also get enmeshed with. 
What was supposed to have been a joint gospel deal with her sister Tamika somehow got turned into a one band stand with Tamika given the boot and Latasha given the green light. That gospel album never did quite come to pass and Latasha's anticipated solo debut had been shelved. Candy, on the other hand, would come out with her own solo work signed under another label, which would later be blamed for Latasha's album being benched later down the road, which we'd find out wasn't factual. While the ladies, minus Tiny, were busy blaming Miss Legs, Hips, and Body, we'd eventually discover that perhaps it wasn't Candy and Jermaine's little fling that put a sword in the group after all. Edward Rocky Bivens would be given the task of managing the girls up until their departure, while Tamika and Latasha were blaming Candy, even going on an Atlanta radio station in 2007 to profess that Candy was busting it wide open for Jermaine and his daddy. The other half of Xscape were pointing the finger at Latasha, accusing her of being the real reason we'd never get a fourth Xscape album, blaming the group's demise on Rocky and Latasha's relationship. Nearly a decade later, Tamika came forward and admitted that she made the whole thing up about Candy sleeping with Jermaine's daddy after much speculation throughout the years and said she only pushed the rumor to protect her sister, who had called her boohoo crying one day, saying she was being blamed for the lack of Xscape content. You'd think time healed all wounds. However, in this case, it was only a matter of time before Xscape escalated and the truth would soon be revealed and unveiled in front of the entire world. In 2017, Xscape would reunite on their, what was supposed to have been, their grown women-ish collabing with the Bravo Network for a mini reality TV series, Xscape Just Kicking It, following their preparation for their comeback BET Awards performance leading up to a reunion tour. The show came as a delightful treat to Xscape fans who'd get the chance to see their faves and some of their most intimate moments off stage. But what should have been a wholesome link up was filled with drama on top of drama and revelation on top of revelation. Unresolved tension between the group was evident and talks regarding their split often being brought to the forefront put a disconnect between Latasha versus the rest of the group. According to Candy, there was an obvious division amongst the group only after Latasha's man Rocky became the group's manager. Rocky and I used to be really, really cool. Then when he started talking to Tasha, she didn't want to share a dressing room with us anymore. She didn't want to pray with us no more before the shows. According to Tasha, however, she claims the girls been had beef before Rocky ever entered the picture. You would get angry, Candy, when I would have to sing a lot of songs and you made that very clear. Hmm, Candy slightly disagreed. It wasn't that Latasha was chosen as lead vocalist, but more so she and Rocky set up their third album, Traces of My Lipstick, as a springboard for Tasha's solo project. The group went into their last body of work knowing Tasha was about to leave, which Candy admits she didn't necessarily have an issue with. Just don't pretend to be down for the group knowing you're about to kick them right to the curb after. The show set them up for an upcoming EP, Here For It, under the name Escape, with the E at the end of Escape being turned into the number three due to Candy's absence from the group during that time. Turning down recording for the group for a musical stint on Broadway. Just a few years later, during the midst of quarantine when the world was placed on lockdown, Record-winning producers Timbaland and Swiss Beats came up with the idea for Versus, a musical production where two or more talents go head-to-head -head showcasing their greatest hits. The Versus was a huge hit, and when Escape and SWV were set to perform, everybody was here for it. The nostalgic throwback records took the 40-plus crowd down memory lane, whilst the younger viewers were also in their fields. After everything was said and done, SWV and Xscape plotted up a plan to do another performance together, this time on their own time. And Bravo was right there yet again, forming a reality-based miniseries showcasing the group's journey leading up to a joint concert. Since 2017, Xscape has been on the rise, selling out arenas across the world. With Tiny's decade-long relevancy on VH1's T.I. and Tiny's The Family Hustle and Candy's pop culture relevancy on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, the recognition helped push the group back into mainstream remembrance, and they were remembered all right. Right at BET Soul Train Awards, after giving us a modern-day performance, they'd be awarded the 2022 Lady of Soul Award. The performance was so good, it nearly made everyone forget about the issues leading up to it or why Latasha was rocking that green getup on the red carpet whilst the other girls were sporting matching glitz and mesh dresses. Beautiful gowns indeed. However, it was evident someone missed the memo. 
Tasha insisted that she had no idea about the dress code and was never sent or told any information regarding the coordinated fits. The other three ladies, on the other hand, say, ain't no way. We told you what was up multiple times and you refused to listen. This sparked a huge back and forth online. Somebody was lying, and from what we can tell, a majority of Escape fans believed that Latasha wasn't being truthful, which she then later clarified that she in fact had a different stylist than the rest of the group. With SWV and Escape, the queens of R&B, messy is an understatement. When the show finally did air earlier this year, viewers were sent on a whirlwind of ups and downs, more so on the behalf of Escape, who just could not get it together for nothing. The ladies of SWV were chilling in the cut, whilst the Escape girls had more loops and twists than a Korean drama. The first episode spared absolutely no one. Tamika revealed that after she and Candy were locked out of their dressing rooms during the Lovers and Friends Festival that took place in May of last year, Latasha, walking right past them, paid them no mind and left her sister and Candy girls behind. Confronting Latasha, Tamika took to the group's group chat, stating everyone who left without making sure we were good can kiss my behind. Latasha responded to which Tamika then fired back, if you had a butt to kiss, to which later on in the show, Latasha would accuse her sister of body shaming. Everything came to a head not even 30 minutes into the first episode when Tamika arrived with her daughter at her mother's residence, where Latasha had also been. Explaining the dressing room situation, it appeared as though Tamika and Latasha's mama wasn't defending Tamika as she probably should have. And before we knew it, a full on shouting match ensued. Apparently, Latasha and her husband Rocky stole some checks from Tamika some years back and Mama Scott Ben knew about it. Confronting her sister mother right then and there, enough was enough for Tamika, who stood her ground whilst Latasha said disassociated on the couch and her mom denied knowing any info on the whereabouts of her money. The denial set Tamika all the way off. The argument went from inside to outside the crib before Mama Scott demanded the camera crew to stop filming. Their tumultuous relationship continued to play out on television, and throughout the series, Tamika brought receipts upon receipts of Latasha's trifling ways. More specifically, Latasha's trifling husband, Rocky Bivens, who would be accused of not only stealing Tamika's money, but stealing money from the group as a whole, getting kickbacks from promoters without the girls' knowledge meant, threatening Tamika, Candy, and Tiny, and allegedly knocking up side chicks and mistresses left and right. Rocky and Latasha denied any and all wrongdoings on camera and online, despite all the evidence pinpointing their guilt. The straw that really broke the camel's back was Latasha doing multiple interviews, denying Tamika's claims, and even made Tamika out to be a liar, using the lies she told about Candy back in the day as her referral. If I'm lying, show the receipts. Well, her wish is Tamika's command. Posted on Tamika's official YouTube account, Tamika Scott of Escape Drops Receipts was uploaded on March 29th, and folks were not prepared for such revelations that be shared. Tamika shared that a random text message from a random number had been sent to her phone threatening to blackball her if she didn't publicly apologize to both Rocky and her sister. Tamika, I have a question for you. Which allegation is worse? Accusing your sister of stealing 30K or you texting and sending naked pictures to your sister's husband? The text went on to mention a 2016 tape and even Candy's husband, Todd. Using Rocky's recent phone convo he did with YouTuber Tasha K, which unbeknownst to him was being recorded, Rocky, deflecting far, far away from the original topic of him impregnating his alleged mistress, drops the bomb that Candy's husband, Todd, was out here swallowing beef sticks, and Tamika allegedly had been sending him nudes. Putting two and two together, between the info Rocky gave Tasha K and the random text Tamika received, people believed that it was in fact Rocky who sent Tamika that text message. Further on in the vid, Tamika brings out the big guns, Tiny's mother to further discuss how her money was swiped from under her. Tiny's mom set up all of the Escape girls for sound exchange checks that should have been received throughout the years. Tamika's checks, however, failed to reach her. Informing Miss Diane, Tiny's mom, that she never got her checks is what led to Tamika's very own investigation. Dialing up sound exchange, both Tamika and Diane were told that Tamika's checks were going to Fayetteville, Georgia, and not to the New York address Tamika had been living in at the time. 
They were then sent copies of her checks and the guy on the other end blatantly told them, Edward Bivens cashed your checks and the only way to get her money back was to prosecute Rocky and Latasha. Sound Exchange also sent Tamika a copy of her contract, which she later found out Latasha had actually changed and put her name on the contract, stating that she was Tamika's manager. Tamika then showed evidence of her sister changing the addresses and a few other things on her contracts. All evidence points to Latasha and Edward Rocky Bivens stealing Tamika's money. Whilst he was out and about digging his own grave, thinking he was getting one up on Mika, Rocky's past would come to bite him in the assets after multiple women came out accusing Rocky of cheating on Latasha with them. One in particular, a NOLA native named Unique, sat down with Tasha Kay and came with all the receipts. Supposedly, she and Rocky had been in a five-year relationship, and oh, was it serious. A chapter book worth of text, photos of pregnancy tests, and even Rocky's nudes were present on Unique's phone. After Tasha Kay told Rocky that she did an interview with his mistress, he was quick to deny all wrongdoings and even said Sister Girl was going to prison after his federal investigation was over. Catching wind of all the foolishness, Latasha came out to confess that she and Rocky were in an open marriage, but later backtracked saying that they had open communication. Now, I don't know about you, but an open relationship and having open communication aren't just words to get mixed up often but I digress. Well, Latasha's gospel album, the one she and her sis were supposed to do way back when, hitting streaming services, it leads many to speculate the authenticity of her faith. Is this an authentic path or are dollar signs the main factor behind it all yet again? Sibling feuds aren't a rare phenomenon. Sisters argue sometimes, which is okay when done in a healthy manner. However, outright stealing your sister's monies for years while she was pregnant with her first child, mind you? Going out of your way to forge signatures, lie to her face, lie about it to the world? Then attempt to blackball and extort her with things you told her were stolen years ago? Isn't just any old argument. It honestly seems outright evil if you ask us. And if you ask the fans, Latasha, as guilty as she may be, could possibly be in real life danger at the hands of her husband. It's not like he hasn't pulled weapons out on others in the past, allegedly. He got off scot-free during the whole R. Kelly case, which if you weren't aware, Rocky was R. Kelly's former business manager. Some believe Rocky is abusing Tasha mentally and even physically. Others are saying Latasha is Rocky's meal ticket, and if she were to ever leave him, he'd extort her like he tried to do Tamika. Tamika just may be dealing with a couple of narcissists on her hands. What's done in the dark will always come to the light. We're just happy she has the rest of the Escape girls to back her up. How do you feel about Escape's decades worth of drama? Let us know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments and stay tuned for more true celebrity stories.